this thing on? Hey, guys. So, unbox and check it out. Schooly upgrade. We got a fridge. Hey. Whew. That's exciting. Yeah, we picked this up at a place called Three Bears to Alaska. I read the side tag, actually. It's a Sam's Club product, believe it or not. But it's a 7.5 cubic foot refrigerator, two point, or two, uh, 212 liter, you know, in case you need that information. But we figured we'd rip it open, because after all, we got to get the little guy out of here, because we need room. And we need freezer space. Badly badly need freezer space. I'll show you what we got a little bit later on, but in the meantime, let's rip this open. Honey, do you want to do the honors? Uh, sir, do we have scissors? Yes, we do. I'm not feeling quite that strong to rip through those today. <laughs> oh, come on. There you go. Just grab it. Ah! I know, right? <laughs> it's kind of like being at work, except I have box cutters at work. Well, there's a box cutter right there by the camera, as a matter of fact. Well, that's good. And I don't have to tie these up and put them in recycling, so that's good, too. Well, yeah, I guess. Um, right there. Lovely. Woo! Yes, we like gadgets. Gadgets are good. All right, so I've been running my current refrigerator in my bus and for probably... Um, okay, who am I kidding? I bought it back in 2008. Okay, and it's been going like a trooper this whole time. I shut it off for like a year, maybe two, fired it back up, no problems. You just clean the back really well, make sure they're dust free, and these things will run forever as long as you take care of them. Power surge areas, totally different story. Fix the toll on them. But like I said, and like my wife said, we needed an upgrade and we needed fridge space and freezer space most importantly. So we were able to get this after doing a lot of research on a whole bunch of different ones. And the reason that we got this refrigerator right here is because this refrigerator requires the same exact voltage as the one I'm currently running right now as far as amps, hertz, everything down to the exact numbers, which is awesome. So it's a total upgrade with a good size freezer box. So we figured why not? Looks like you're having a hard time here, honey. Well, they stapled the side, but if I can open it, we can just peel it back. Oh, well, here, let me show you another way to do that. Where's that knife? Cool, I like tricks. Well, it's not really a trick. It's more you just grab the corner of the box right here. Well, I didn't want to cut into the fridge. And so. you seam right down the corner of the box, just like this. This is how you open refrigerator boxes, by the way. You see where this blade is right here in the seam? That's how you open a refrigerator box. Same thing with washers, dryers, all large boxes. Go right down this seam just like that with your razor blade. And this is why I have you. And then when you get down to the bottom, you do the same thing on the bottom, as close as you possibly can to the bottom of the box. Okay. Now some of these boxes, like this one, should peel open just like that. And as you can see, as long as you stay on your corners, the way they pack these, they pack them with this foam right here. So you're really not gonna have to worry about slicing into the side of your refrigerator or nothing like that. Just in case you were like, oh my God, he's gonna scratch his fridge. All right, so let's go ahead and rip this thing open. Pull these out of, out of the way. A lot of foam. A lot of foam. Is there something I can do to help? No, that's alright. You know what the bad part is about foam? It doesn't break down. Uh, why do we still keep making it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure we can use something better than styrofoam one of these days to be able to package stuff. Let's get that out of the way. Woohoo! This thing is pretty. Okay. So I am just going to pop this right out. Just like that. Pivot it just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna act like a cat here for a second. I'm gonna get in this box. 
just because I want to be able to open this so you guys can see it. All right, just like that. Pull our plastic off. Ow, it just shocked me. It shocked me again. It shocked me again. Static electricity. All right, so this is what it looks like on the front. Just so you can see it. Isn't that cool? It's got its energy rating. <laughs> well, so like I said, it was an upgrade. So this whole area is completely different. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop it. I'll switch my camera so you guys can get the long view maybe. Or maybe I'll save that for the end or something. Who knows? We'll just see. But anyway. There's the freezer space you get. Which is pretty awesome. It really is. That's pretty awesome. And then for the fridge. You get almost. I'd say probably one third minus what you would get from a normal size refrigerator. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to grab that camera because I know you can't see that as this well here. Come here, guys. Ah, I know, right? Whoa, he's, yeah. So anyway, this is what we're dealing with right here. This is the freezer. It comes with your drawer up there, or not your drawer, but your uh, shelf that you can put into it. And then down here, it looks like it has a built-in egg tray. Ooh, it must have knew we had chickens, huh? Right, honey? <laughs> yes, it must have. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize it comes out. Okay, well, speaking of egg trays, we managed to pick this one up from the dollar store, so why not, right? That's actually pretty cool. Holds a dozen. It's got a nice little lid on it. So, find a new home for it. Other than that, you've got your crisper drawer down here on the bottom, and then the rest of your shelves that you can go ahead and put in at will and move around, and then your door space right there. And guess what? What? You can actually store your milk gallon standing up now. Oh, I know, right? Here, let me show you what I was dealing with. So check this out. This is this is how tall I am compared to that refrigerator. Honey, will you take this camera real quick? Yes, sir. All right. So this is where we're at. This is the height, okay? Now, it goes all the way to the floor, which is good. Kind of space age inner door there. Okay. Now... all this stuff this is the funny part fun part about unboxing something in a small area you end up putting everything right in the way just for the sake of showing people hey dude check this out all right so go ahead and come over here so let me show you what i've been doing <clears throat> so i know it's a little hard to see but this is my refrigerator with the microwave on top of it and as you can see down there barely Thank you, honey. <laughs> As you can see down there, there's that little itty bitty drawer right here. This is the bottom of my refrigerator. And that's how I've been storing my milk on the inside. Ah! So I'd say this fridge is definitely an upgrade. So anyway, you guys let me know what you think. If you thought this fridge was cool, if you thought the video was cool, if you guys like unboxing or anything like that, let me know what fridge you ran with in your school bus. I'd be really interested to see because these things are limited on space. If you do not do a roof raise, keep that in mind. I'm personally not doing one. I could live with it. Six foot, I can live with it. So anyway, you guys take care. I'll see you next time. Hit this like button if you like the video at all. Share it with a friend if you would. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you next time, all right? Don't forget that notification bell. See you later.